If you're new to ham radio, you might have heard references to analog ham radio. With the advent of DMR or digital mobile radio, the ham radio community has grown immensely, but also somewhat divided itself into two different categories, analog ham radio and digital mobile radio. Both have their advantages and disadvantages, but today we're going to focus specifically on analog. What is it, how it works, and when you would use it. Before we get started, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more of the ham radio content that you love. All that being said, let's get started. So what is analog ham radio? Analog radio operates by using electromagnetic radiation to transmit data. On the electromagnetic spectrum, radio waves appear as slow-moving, extremely long wavelengths compared to microwaves or infrared radiation. Because of their long wavelengths, analog ham radio breaks those radio waves down into smaller categories or bands for an array of different uses. For example, different communication systems operate exclusively on certain bands measured in megahertz. Satellites might operate on the extremely high frequency band, or EHF, while your typical AM radio operates on lower frequencies called a VHF, or very high frequency, and ultra high frequency, or UHF. Since this is a basics video, we aren't going to get too much more technical than that. All you need to know is that analog radio operates in a specific range of radio wavelengths to transmit data across vast distances. Now let's talk a little bit about what kind of equipment you might need to start using analog radio. A receiver is a device that allows you to listen to set frequencies, but not transmit over hence receiver. Likewise, there are transmitters that allow you to transmit data, but not receive it. Conventionally, there are also transceivers, which allow you to both transmit and receive your own data. A large part of analog radio is making sure your signal is getting to where it needs to go. A signal can be augmented by using an antenna, which helps it reach greater distances. There are many types of antennas, of course, but two common types are directional and omnidirectional. Directional antennas are focused on a specific path, whereas omnidirectional antennas are less focused and simply boost the signal in every direction. To summarize, analog ham radio is a communication method involving the usage of radio waves to transmit and receive data over wide distances. Depending on the communication system, different parts of the electromagnetic spectrum are used in a structured way so that messages don't overlap or get tangled up with each other. You use a transmitter to send data and a receiver to receive data, but there are also devices called transceivers which are capable of doing both. The distance a message travels varies with analog radio, but you can find various antennas to help boost the signal in a variety of situations. Now with all of that said, when would you find yourself using analog radio? Well, for starters, the majority of radio systems around the world still operate using analog. If you're a professional in the field or someone who wants to dive into the ham radio world, knowledge of analog radio is very beneficial and you will be respected. You also likely use analog radio without even realizing it. If you like to listen to the radio in your car, any station using FM is transmitting audio to you via the analog system. We hope this video helped clarify the very basics of how analog radio works on a technical level. Of course, the deeper you dive into the hobby, the more complicated things will become, but you don't need to know everything to be able to enjoy it. If you want to get into analog ham radio yourself, check out the link in the description to browse the radios you'll need to get started. You can also create a support ticket on our website if you want more information about anything related to ham radio or digital mobile radio. Our in-house technical support team is unmatched in the industry. As always, thank you so much for watching. My name is Cody, W3AMG73.